My name is Helen and I am a junior researcher at ITV for the TV show The Chase. On a normal day today, um, I start off in the morning by making calls to potential contributors who um, I do a phone audition with. Um, go through a couple of questions, find out a bit about what their lives are like, what they do in their spare time and if they are successful in that phone chat then I invite them for an audition and then I would travel around the country um, auditioning the, su the successful applicants um, and then if they're successful then they get shortlisted and then they get put on a show and we pick the best four people for each show. On my first day of university they asked what everybody wanted to do with their um, careers on that very first day, what their ideas were about that. And um, I noticed that all the guys said that they would like to be directors and all the girls said that they wanted to be producers, except me, I just said I wanted to be a screenwriter, so I'm probably a little bit weird. I think my most useful experience at university was when I had to write a... TV series as part of my major project so I wrote six episodes of my own concept TV show and um, some members of my class decided that they wanted to film the pilot so I had to give out complete creative control to other people and had no say whatsoever on how that turned out. It was really really weird because Sunday League was actually something that was really close to my heart and the first time I actually had to see the show was uh, at the screening. It was really, really surreal and it wasn't necessarily how I would have done it, um, but it was a good learning experience. My first experience of being a runner was um, while I was at university studying um, television production at the University for the Creative Arts. Somebody from Take Me Out came upstairs and asked if they um, could have someone to help out be a stand-in. So basically my job would have been to pretend to be one of the 30 single girls um, and make the guys who come down the love lift feel a little bit more comfortable. So that was my first experience and it was really a bit random, but it was really fun. I think I've had two really great mentors. I've been really lucky. One of whom was at Maidstone Studios. She um, met me when I worked on my very first project there. My other mentor has been um, the stage manager on Later with Jules Holland. Um, we've built such a, a great relationship working together on that show um, and she is now one of the biggest influences in me being able to get future jobs. My most useful experience while I've been a runner has been when I worked on Later with Jules Holland. So the stage manager um, there, we built up a really strong relationship over the series and she entrusted me organising the moving of um, the piano, the famous Jules piano. We had to move that in and out of set um, in two minutes. Um, so I found two um, heavy lifters to help me wheel that in and out of set. She was very pleased. So I didn't know before I got into um, working in television that I probably didn't actually have to get a degree to work in the position that I'm in now. The most important thing that I've learned about the industry is to have patience. You have to make sure that you prioritise every other person's um, time above your own. I think my top tips for any um, runner starting out in the industry um, is to is to be professional. You like never take a picture on set. Like it's just day one stuff. One of my other tips is that to say that no job is is um, is be beneath you. Like if someone asks you to make them a cup of tea or um, to get them lunch, there's a reason for that. So I think next in my career, I would like continue with the casting route. Like I'm really enjoying it, um, become a casting producer and have um, the ability to make the final decisions on people that get cast for shows. That would be me. 